Welcome to St. John, New Brunswick, the oldest incorporated city in all of Canada. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Well, since the weather is so nice today, we're actually going to kick things off by going out of St. John's just by 15 minutes to what's ranked as one of the number one things to do here, Irving Nature Park. So according to this map here, there's a whole bunch of hiking trails and observation points. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. I think I'm just going to drive all the way towards the end to do a hike. One thing we've noticed is you can pretty much either drive or hike around the entire uh, perimeter of the park. And there's all different kinds of trails. We don't have time to do all of them, but we want it to do right at the very peak. We've assumed that that has really nice views of uh, the ocean. So we're starting with the Heron Trail, which is 2.9 kilometers, says it's an hour and a half and that it's easy. Let's get started. The mosquitoes here are terrible. Oh my God. No more mosquitoes, thank goodness. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a good hike with beautiful views, more beaches. We're in the Heron Trail, and that's the Frog Trail. But I think on the Frog Trail, you're supposed to hike it like this, huh? <laughs> I don't know if the frogs jump like that, baby. The Frog Trail is not like this. It's like this. Yeah, eh? yeah. If you do it like that the whole way, it'll be quite the workout. I know. No. This is an easy trail, so let's keep it that way. <laughs> this is a no, no, you shouldn't do this. Come on, people. Like, where, why people don't understand that you shouldn't feed wild animals? And it's not, you're not doing them any favor. Actually, you are hurting them because then they depend on this. Also, what if they prefer salted? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like we've made it to the peak, the very top peak of the park, and I'm pretty sure that means we're about halfway. Let's just confirm that. Yep, halfway, and there we are, right at the peak. We made it! Only halfway, why are you cheering? All right, well, it looks like we made it to the end of Heron Trail. So yeah, pretty easy walk, very beautiful, lots of beaches. Now we're gonna go through the middle of the park to get back to the car. Look, something else to like about this park. They have barbecues. Well, that was a beautiful hike, but before we go, I wanted to come to the Marsh Boardwalk. I saw this as we were coming in it's right at the beginning and it's usually a great way to walk out in the marshes and maybe see some birds and reptiles and one thing I've noticed about this park is you can definitely spend the whole day here. Well we didn't see too many birds no. just a few seagulls and some small shore birds but I'm pretty sure you saw a, a, a seagull catching a, a crab or something. So poor little crab he didn't make it today. We actually also saw a baby porpoise, thanks to Carla. What we think. She spotted it. Well, it was something like that. It wasn't a seal, so that was pretty cool, but too fast for us to get it on camera. But either way, it was a great way to end our day here at Irving Nature Park.
Founded in 1785, there's a lot of history in St. John. So to start our tour of downtown St. John, we're actually gonna be doing a self-guided walking tour. We went to the website for Discover St. John and they have a number of different walking tours you can do. We're gonna be doing the Loyalist Trail, which starts off with the courthouse, which was built in 1825 by prominent St. John architect, John Cunningham, who designed many of the buildings in the city at the time. Just across the street from the courthouse, we made it to the old burial ground, which has some graves dating back all the way to 1784. Now we're in one of my favorite places to visit in every city, a market, and this is the city market, which has been in continuous use since 1876 and is believed to be the oldest common law market in Canada. Too bad that we're not hungry because there's so much food and restaurants here, but one of the cool things we've noticed is that the ceiling resembles a ship's hull. Just up the street from the market are two old Georgian style buildings that are part of the walking tour. One is the Nutting House, which was built in 1819 and is the oldest surviving brick building in the city. We were looking for a sign, we couldn't find one, but it's the one right on the corner. But just across the street from that is the Loyalist House, which was built in 1810 and is now a museum with period furnishings. This building is a well-preserved example of the homes built by prosperous United Empire Loyalists and their descendants. Constructed by the merchant David Merritt, this house was maintained with minimal change by five generations of his family who lived here until 1959. It's one of the oldest residences in the city and an important survivor of the Great Fire which destroyed much of central St. John in 1877. One of the cool things about visiting old historic houses is seeing the things they used to have. So this used to be what would have had soda or pop as we call it and this is supposedly how it got its name. This is what would block the pop, the pop and keep it carbonated and when you push that it would make a pop and you could drink it. So that's why we call it pop. We're now continuing our walking tour and just up the street on Carlton Street is St. John's Stone Church. Completed in 1825, this was the first stone church in St. John and it's now a National Historic Site. We made it to another National Historic Site, which is now a three-star hotel. And it's actually a very rare surviving example of an early artistic painted decoration in a Canadian home, which was used as an expression of wealth back in the 1870s. We're now outside Market Square, which is a really nice place and home to a lot of different shops and restaurants, as well as the New Brunswick Museum, which we would have loved to visit, but unfortunately right now it's closed. But it's also home to the Market Slip, and this is celebrated as the site where the first Loyalists would have arrived way back in 1783. After wrapping up our walking tour of the historic part of St. John, we're now at the latest attraction, Area 506 Container Village, which is full of shops, places to eat, and occasional live music. Harbor Passage Trail and you can identify it because it's a red color trail and it starts from Market Square and it goes all the way to Reversing Falls. It seems that there was a small break of the Harbor Passage Trail in the middle because there was no red trail. But at least you can keep on the sidewalk and uh, it's a little bumpy but it's, yeah. not, it's not very long, just a few minutes. Well, mission accomplished, we made it to the Reversing Falls Rapids. And the reason why this is a popular attraction is because it's a natural phenomenon that occurs on a daily basis when the Bay of Fundy collides with the St. John River. And the reason why they give it that name is because there actually is a waterfall, it's just that it's located beneath the surface. 
Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm really happy we found those scooter rentals because it really helped speed up our trip to the Reversing Falls. But now I'm really excited because I'm really hungry and we're gonna be having supper at Lily's Lakeside. What a beautiful day to sit on the patio with a view of the lake. And there's so many good things on the menu, but I decided to go with the seafood linguine and the Alfredo sauce, and Matthew ordered the fish tacos. It's good. It has, it has like shrimp, mussels, lobster, parmesan cheese, and garlic toast. Yeah, it definitely was a hard decision, but we ultimately both went with seafood because we're still on the coast. And yeah, this one has blackened haddock with mango salsa and spicy mayo. And they're actually huge. After a long time here in the Maritimes, we're ready to go back home but we're so happy that we were able to visit St. John New Brunswick. Yeah, it's such a beautiful historic city. And if you're here, we definitely recommend also taking a road trip down to the Fundy Trail Parkway. It just opened up in 2021 and it's one of the most scenic road trips in all of Canada. We just made a video on that. So make sure you watch that one next. And as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and for more information on places all across Canada, visit our website at mustdocanada.com. Even though you don't take the scooters or if you don't make it all the way to the Reversing Falls, just taking the Harbour Passage Trail is super pretty and it's worth the walk. However, I'm very glad that we took the scooters because I was getting very tired at the end of the walking tour. Uh, but yeah, beautiful views of the city.